Hello Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. So this is your daily message for November 13. And please keep in mind po that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. And wag po ninyong piliting mag-fit sa inyo ang reading kung hindi po tugma sa inyong circumstances dahil ibig sabihin po niyan hindi po para sa inyong specific message na yan and uh, maraming salamat din po sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel thank you for your support kung bago naman po kayo dito hello and welcome please subscribe, like, share and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings thank you and uh, naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang yun po ang aking laging kasal para sa inyong lahat and uh, meron po tayong mindering pathway and the message for you is the flow and uh, meron din po tayong number 24 and number 24 becomes number 6 which uh, resonates with happiness, with harmony, with stability, uh, with family and relationships so most of you Capricorn, ang napipick up ko dito is you are just going with the flow you are just going with the flow of life dito merong surrender uh, element dito no which is very very beautiful most of you are going to surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life and hahayaan nyo lang ang divine universe ang mag, mag tak, magpatakbo magdikta ng mga kaganapan sa sa ating buhay no uh, wala tayong control dito so i really feel na ang iba sa inyo is is realizing talaga na uh, everything is in divine order and timing. Lahat ng nangyayari sa mundo, lahat ng nangyayari sa ating sarili is uh, in divine order and timing. And it's not in our timing, hindi natin makokontrol yan. So that I feel that that is what uh, most of you Capricorn are going to feel no, or are feeling right now. Ang nakikita ko dito is sumusunod lamang kayo dito Capricorn doon sa pathway na iniilawan ng, ng, ng Divine Universe para sa inyo. You are being very very receptive and very very sensitive doon sa mga guidance, no? sa mga mensahe na pinapadala sa inyo ng Panginoon, ng inyong spirit team at uh, nakikinig kayo at sumusunod kayo doon sa guidance. That is what I am picking up here. That's why you are just being in the flow. Yung hindi nyo kinokontrol ang uh, mga bagay-bagay, hindi kayo nagre-resist. Hindi ninyo kinokontra kung ano ang mga nangyayari. So that's why napakaganda lang ng takbo ng inyong buhay because you are in sync kumbaga sa divine universe dito. You are just being in the flow. Sumusunod lang kayo sa agos ng tubig dito kung saan kayo dalhin ng divine universe, that is where you are heading. So, napakaganda lang, napakaganda lang ng energy na nafe-feel ko dito for you Capricorn. And uh, I feel na handang-handa kayo, no? Handang-handa kayo kung saan man kayo dalhin ng divine universe because you have that full trust, no? Meron kayong confidence and meron kayong 100% trust na dadalhin kayo ng Panginoon, dadalhin kayo ng Divine Universe doon sa kung ano ang ang makakabuti sa inyo. Kung saan kayo magsasaksid, kung saan kayo magtatagumpay, kung saan kayo magiging masaya, kung ano ang makakapag uh, bigay sa inyo ng fulfillment, you have the full trust dito. That's why you are being in the flow of life. So, this is so beautiful, Capricorn. And that's what I have for you for today. Hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste. Hello Virgo and I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for November 13 and please keep in mind po that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. And uh, wag po ninyong piliting mag sa inyo ang reading kung hindi po tugma sa inyong circumstances. Dahil ibig sabihin po niyan, hindi po para sa inyong specific message na yan. And um, maraming salamat po sa pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago naman po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And uh, naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat, Virgo. 
So, Virgo, nandito ang Spirit Guardian of Winter and the message for you is Retreat. And we also have the number 38. And uh, number 38 becomes number 11. And uh, number 11 is a very highly spiritual number and that is the master number 11. And uh, yung 11 din po, that represents illumination. And um, I would suggest, no, uh, Virgo, to please look up for the meaning of number 11, master number 11, for more guidance. Because I really feel that uh, maaring makatulong yon yung special na mensahe na mababasa ninyo dyan, is going to help you in your situation ngayon. And uh, since number 11 represents illumination, I really feel that that is... Uh, the purpose kung bakit kailangan ninyong mag-retreat. I feel that uh, that's why you are being encouraged here to uh, go for some retreat dito Virgo. It's because there is an illumination na papasok sa inyo. There is an illumination, a clarity, a special uh, message dito for you. There is guidance na maaari ninyong ma-receive sa inyong pagre-retreat, sa inyong pagre-reflect, sa inyong pag-contemplate, uh, no? So, you're being encouraged here na mag, ano muna kayo, mag-hermit uh, mode muna kayo, na, ma na mag-me time muna kayo, spend time alone, no? Para bigyan ninyong inyong sarili ng break uh, from your hustle and bustle. Give yourself some time, no? Para makapag-relax. Step away from what is causing you stress. Step away from your daily grind, no? Para uh, mabigyan ninyo ang iyong sarili ng oras para mag-self-care muna kayo. Para din na makapag-reset uh, kayo ng iyong buttons dito. Kasi I really feel na kailangan-kailangan nyo na, na mag-recharge. Kailangan-kailangan nyo na mag-declutter ng inyong uh, sarili ng inyong isip ng inyong damdamin no? kasi maaring punong puno na yung inyong isip and uh, that is causing you stress already sa dami na ninyong ginagawa maaring meron na kayong overwhelming tasks sa trabaho meron pa kayong household chores na inaasikaso maaring meron pa kayong inaalagaan maaring uh, in addition to that, gagawin nyo pa yung inyong obligation, yung, yung responsibilidad sa pamilya. You know, you may have too much on your plate. And now is the time, no? Uh, na mag-me time ka muna so that you can reconnect with your soul. You can reconnect with your inner being and para makapag declutter ka, no? Ng negative energy sa inyong energy field and so that you can get back to your center, no? You can get back to your core. Kailangan, kailangan mo yan. Now is also the time uh, to do some kind of introspection, re-evaluate your life, re-evaluate kung ano ang inyong uh, mga ginagawa, ano ang mga nagaganap sa inyong sarili. I-evaluate ninyo yung inyong mga... Uh, priorities, ano ba ang dapat number one, number two, number three and so on. And uh, most especially dito, I feel that uh, nudge ito sa iyo Virgo to you know, put your uh, well-being, put yourself into your number one list. Maaring this is a a wake up call for you as well Virgo that's why lumabas ang mensahe na ito para sa inyo as uh, ngayong araw sa reading na ito because this is a nudge for you na once and for all kailangan mo din na magpahinga kailangan mo din na to take a breather you know so Virgo that's all I have for you for today I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way thank you for watching love and light namaste Hello Taurus, I hope you're doing well and this is your daily message for November 13. Please keep in mind po that this is a general reading, this is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. Huwag uh, po ninyong piliting mag-fit sa inyo ang uh, reading kung hindi po tugma sa inyong circumstances. Dahil ibig sabihin po niyan, hindi po para sa inyo ang specific message na yan. 
and uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago naman po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell po para updated kayo sa mga readings. And, um, uh, Naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat. Taurus. So, oh wow. Napakaganda. Yung mensahe ninyo is activation. And we have the spirit guardian of spring. And yung uh, mensahe dito for the numbers is uh, 36. And uh, 36 uh, becomes number 9. Which represents uh, completion. Which represents ending. So, may mga chapter sa buhay ninyo na magtatapos na maaaring uh, it has come to its completion natapos nyo na, na-accomplish nyo na ang gusto ninyong ma-accomplish so maaaring ganun no and um, spring time spring time has come to you uh, Taurus, ibig sabihin din dito na magsisimula na uli kayo na mag-cultivate magsisimula na kayo mag-plant ng panibagong seeds sa buhay ninyo and that is very uh, timely, no? Dahil tingnan mo yung message ninyo is uh, completion and ending. So, that's why may nagtapos because merong nang sisimulan uli, di ba? So, maaaring nagtapos na proyekto yan and uh, you're going to receive another contract, another project. So, maaaring ganon. So, there is new beginning dito and you're planting new seeds because this is springtime. Ayan, so uh, panibagong chapter na uli ng buhay ninyo ito na inyong sisimulan. So uh, continue to cultivate kung ano na ang inyong uh, masimula na. No? Maaaring ang iba sa inyo nakapag-launch na ng iyong negosyo. Maaaring ang iba sa inyo nagsisimula na mag-aral uli ng panibagong course. Sabihin natin ganon. And I really feel that you are going or you are on the road to cultivation, kung ano man yung inyong sinimulan. Yung parang pag-iigihan nyo ngayon, you're going to continue to persevere, you're going to continue to cultivate whatever you have planted because you want that to thrive, you want that to progress, no? Uh, and uh, most of you, I feel Taurus is uh, sobra-sobrang nagsisipag ngayon. I really feel that you are putting your energy, your efforts, Lahat ng ideas ninyo, lahat ng mga creative juices ng inyong isipan. I feel that yung binubukos nyo talaga yan sa inyong endeavors ngayon. I really feel that uh, yung goal ninyo, no, talagang super determined kayo and you're super driven na uh, puntahan na ma-accomplish ninyo, na ma-reach ninyo yung goals ninyo at a certain time. Parang ang iba sa inyo, mayroong sinet na uh, na target date, no? Yung parang ganun. Mayroon about this time, dapat narating ko na yung, yung goal ko na yon Yung parang meron kayong ganun ang, ang iba sa inyo, Taurus. And that is so beautiful, no? Kasi that will motivate you na talagang gawin ninyo ang lahat-lahat ng inyong makakaya para marating ninyo yung goal ninyo na yan. And that is what I am picking up here. Na uh, this is the season of spring for you and the spring has sprung uh, sa inyo Taurus dito yung parang eto na, nagbo-bloom na talaga and uh, you are so ready to watch that, you are so ready to to witness no na nagta-thrive ang inyong mga ginagawa, nagta-thrive ang inyong mga efforts dito and uh, I'm really really uh, so happy dito Taurus, yun ang aking nararamdaman and I really feel na you are really going to succeed sa kung ano man ang inyong ginagawa talaga ngayon so, Taurus, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading later in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.